Even though you gotta understand something, sir. If you listen to any Drake or Migos, you know that business is business and strictly financial. First of all, the Patriots are already a Super Bowl champion with Jamie Collins. He won one in 2015 against Seattle. Also, the Patriots, they run a business, kind of like a mom and pop. That's why they are good every single year. Like you said, Max, I don't typically agree with you, sir, but you were right this time, Max. The Patriots run a structured organization where they make moves when, they're t when it's time to be made. You look at Vince Wilbur, he was getting old, got him out of there, shipped him out like bad meat. I mean, the Patriots run their business as such, which is why they consistently perform year in and year out, and they're always right there. Jamie Collins, what he was going to do to the Patriots, he was pocket checking them. In Atlanta, we always say, don't pocket watch me, and he was pocket watching. That's exactly what he was doing. I mean, to say that you want Von Miller money, Jamie Collins, when all you really did to get noticed in the NFL was jump over and block a few field goals, that's how we all found out who you were from Southern Miss, you want six years and $114.5 million? Everybody can say in one accordance that this is no Von Miller. You're Jamie Collins. Von Miller's a Lamborghini. You're more like a 2011 Alexis. How about that, Jamie Collins? I mean, that's what you digress to, sir. You're not the same player that you were. You rotate now. You're not even a full-time starter. So for you to demand Von Miller money, a guy who won Super Bowl MVP, and is still consistently playing up to the level that he was last year, this year on that defense. Come on, Jamie Collins, get real. So Stephen A. Yes stinks to go to Cleveland, but let's think about this. Cleveland stinks, but that city's hot right now. It's on fire. You got the Cubs in town tonight. They're probably going to lose to the Indians, and they'll party for the World Series. Party and BS. And also, you got LeBron right across the street in Quicken Loans Arena. I mean, how can you not want to go watch the Cleveland Cavaliers and sit courtside?